What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a movie I got to check out just a little bit earlier that's going to be releasing later this week on the 1st of September and that movie is called Nandor Fordor and the Talking Mongoose. Written and directed by Adam Seagal, this film stars people like Simon Pegg, Minnie Driver, Christopher Lloyd, Tim Downey, Ruth Connell, Jessica Balmer, Gary Beadle, and more. So before we get too far into this, as I typically like to do with any early screener review, I'd like to say a big thanks to those kind folks over at Saban Films for sending me over another one of their films to check out just a little bit early. Always a pleasure to check out any of their movies a little bit early, whether I enjoy them or not. And today we're talking about a really interesting one. And before we get into my thoughts here and we start talking about this movie, I just want to say a big thanks to all of you guys who clicked here on this video. And if you're new here to the channel and you watching this movie somewhere down the line is what brought you to this video. Well, I definitely want to invite you to hit that subscribe button so you can stick around for more early movie reviews like this, as well as movie reviews for classic films and things that are coming out in theaters. I cover a lot of movies here on the channel. I'd love for you to stick around. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks again for stopping by. So let's get into my thoughts here on this very interesting film that has a very interesting title, uh, Nandor Fodor and the Talking Mongoose. Now, when I got the email for this, I was just instantly really intrigued to check this movie out, specifically because of the cast. The main three that caught my eye, without a doubt, are Simon Pegg, Minnie Driver, and Christopher Lloyd. And once I got into the movie, I didn't know what this movie was about, but I found it to be a rather intriguing premise. Simon Pegg plays a man named Dr. Nandor Fordor, who is a paranormal psychologist in a lot of ways. He's a paranormal investigator of sorts. He is a doctor who has spent years researching the paranormal. And so, yeah, he ends up being reached out to by Christopher Lloyd, who is a peer in this field, who plays a man named Dr. Harry Price. And he pretty much tells him that he went to investigate this place called the Irving Estate. There's a family that lives there, of course, the Irvings, who say that they have a mongoose there that can speak, a talking mongoose, as the title suggests. And so, of course, this piques his interest and he and his assistant known as Anne played by Minnie Driver uh, end up taking this trip overseas to go to see this talking mongoose at the Irving's estate once they end up arriving there they're pretty much shown uh, you know how things go they're pretty much walking into a bit of a showmanship kind of thing from this Irving family and right out of the gate they don't fully believe whether or not this mongoose actually speaks or whether or not it actually exists because there has been no captured footage or images of this mongoose and it's something that's kind of become a bit of a town folklore if you will but a lot of people believe that this family actually does have this talking mongoose that lives within their estate and this movie i should mention also takes place in the late 30s this is a film that takes us back in the day and is apparently inspired by a true story now as i usually do with a lot of these inspired by true story movies I don't really know the true story. I didn't go and do research on that. This is just a review of the film in and of itself. So whatever kinds of, you know, creative liberties they took when it came to the story here, I'm not familiar with any of that here. Uh, obviously, I just expect that there are creative liberties. And something right out of the gate to say about this movie is that it has a very interesting directorial style, which I really want to praise the director, Adam Seagal, for because I really enjoyed the way that this film was put together, it's very well shot, it's very well lit. I thought the performances throughout the course of the film were really solid and kept me engaged and really interested to see where things were going to go. There was a bit of a weird offbeat humor to the film as well that definitely came from the directorial side of things that gave this film a very interesting edge so while it is inspired by a true story there is a bit of this offbeat kind of a weird reality that we're kind of set into while also being focused in some sense of reality there's something about this film that has an artistic edge overall is what I'm pretty much trying to say in terms of how the film comes off and I really enjoyed a lot of the dialogue which I found a lot to be very clever and well put together and so what I can say on an overall level is I found this to be a very well-made film in pretty much all avenues but where I struggled with this film was with its overall narrative and its character development while I found the overall premise to be incredibly bizarre but also interesting I was just finding myself while I was watching the movie thinking to myself why just why is this a movie that was made the big takeaway from this film is whether or not this mongoose exists isn't really what the movie is about but instead trying to kind of get to the center of the idea of should you remove somebody's belief because you can prove whether or not it exists 
As somebody who grew up in a Christian household, as somebody who respects people who have their own religions and own beliefs, I am now somebody who considers myself to be an agnostic. You know, I'm a little bit more open to the idea of, you know, what could be out there. I don't necessarily fully disagree or don't believe everything I was raised to believe, but I definitely don't fall within the Christian world anymore. And while this film isn't about religion, I found that I could kind of relate it to that because there was an element here about this film that was like, listen, whether or not something exists, should you remove that joy that it might bring to other people and i think on one hand i agree with the idea of what this film is trying to say that it doesn't matter whether or not something exists if it exists to certain people but on the other side as somebody who's kind of become a bit of a skeptic in my own way i did kind of find myself falling a little bit more in line with Simon Pegg's character who is the skeptic of this film and is truly trying to get to the bottom of whether or not this talking mongoose actually exists. Well, that's the big takeaway I had from this film and I found it to be rather interesting. If there's anything I can say about this film is that it definitely provoked thought that clearly had me kind of, you know, wondering why this film was made and, you know, had me kind of thinking about the different lenses that the different characters are looking at things through. But ultimately, as we got to the end of the film, I just kind of kept thinking to myself, why was this movie made there wasn't really an abundance about it that I could ever say I want to revisit nor is it really even a movie that I would say I really want to implore others to see with that said though I do think it's an intriguing and interestingly well-made film on all the other technical elements so I think that if you do check out the movie whether you enjoy it or you don't enjoy it I think it's at least worth an interesting watch but I don't know that I'm necessarily rushing to rewatch it nor am I necessarily giving it a ringing endorsement here in this video so take what you will from that review Nandor for and the Talkie Mongoose will be releasing later this week, I believe on the 1st of September. A big thanks once again to the kind folks over at Saban Films for sending me over an early screener for this movie. Again, very well made on all of the technical levels. I loved seeing the cast here. I really enjoyed also the chemistry between Simon Pegg's character and Minnie Driver's character. I really enjoyed their time together spent on screen, but I ultimately wish that the film had a little bit more resolution. While I do appreciate its ambiguous ending, I found that a little bit more resolution to certain things would have been a little bit better as well as some more solidified uh, character development that oftentimes didn't really feel like it was overly present i just feel like the movie kind of breezed by it's very well paced but ultimately sometimes it felt a little bit aimless and sometimes it felt like there wasn't enough that really happened by the time we got to the end of the film for me to really say that i was captured by the film overall but again as you can tell by the way i'm speaking about it it did provoke thought and so on that level i feel like i have to give it at least one thumbs up and say that it's at least an intriguing movie to watch but intriguing movie to watch that i know is not going to work for everybody and i'm not even entirely sure whether or not it worked for me so that's going to be my thoughts on nandor fordor and the talking mongoose definitely want to hear what you guys have to say if you saw the film and that's what brought you here to this review please hit that like button down below and comment your thoughts letting me know what you thought about the film and if you haven't seen the film is this something that's on your radar are you a simon Pegg fan and you just got to see this movie whatever the case may be leave any and all comments down below and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one Bye-bye.